TexarkanaFYI.com and all the podcasts that go with it. We are with Miss Janice ben Bazanson. I, I swear I'll get it right by the time the meeting happens. But there's a big meeting tonight regarding the Marvin Nichols Reservoir here in Northeast Texas. And you're one of the speakers? I am. Tonight, tell, tell it. This is happening at Silver Moon on Broad. Yes. Is it six o'clock? 6.30. 6.30 this evening. Everyone is encouraged to come down. Find out more about Marvin Nichols and what's going on. You need to be a part of this and Miss Janice knows why. Okay, well, I'll tell you why. Marvin Nichols Reservoir is a proposed reservoir. It hasn't been built yet. Uh, there are water utilities in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that are proposing to dam the Sulphur River and make this huge reservoir. We're talking 66,000 acres. That's a lot of people's land. It's a lot of people's land, hundred thousands of people's land. Yeah. And this is all private land right now and they will be forced to sell their land so and watch it inundated. Some of them will lose their homes some of them, it's land that's been in their family for hundreds of years. Yeah, hundreds of years, a Our couple of them. I yeah, know. way back in the 1800s. Uh, some of them have family cemeteries there. It's where they hunt, they fish, and it's their livelihood. I mean, it's the, they cut the trees for timber. They livestock. have livestock and, and some uh, So this is, this is basically like a lot of, from that, from my perspective, it seems like it's Dallas, Fort Worth needs water, so they're just going to make it where they want it. Uh, that's kind of what it boils down to, because there's other sources of water that they can right. use. Why couldn't they just flood Plano? <laughs> I mean, I ain't well, never I had fun in Plano. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I get your point, but I don't think that would quite work. But you see what I'm saying, though? It's like they're going to come out here and, and take the water and back there. And pipe it like 100 to 150 miles. And what's back. that do for us? Um, well, it very devastating to the economy, to the people, to the environment. But it makes us no money. It makes it doesn't do anything for us. No, it doesn't do anything at all for East Texas. There, you know, there'd be a little bit of fishing and maybe a bait shop and a few things like that. But compared to the economic activity that's on the site now, it's not a good bet. It's no, not a good no, buy. No, I don't like the idea of it at all. So we can find out more tonight, though. We can find out more tonight. We, we will have people who are from the timber industry. I'm with a conservation organization called Texas Conservation Alliance. We've been opposing this for more than 20 years. Yeah, it's... And, but the people who will be harmed aren't just the landowners. It's going to be the whole economy of Northeast Texas because in addition to the land that will be flooded, there'll be quite a lot of land taken out of production for what's called mitigation for wildlife land mm -hmm. to compensate for the fact that they're wiping out all sure, the Sure, because you know, land. they've always got like a core of engineer area around. Right, around and, a... but this time it'll be big because it's a lot of wonderful wildlife habitat that's mm -hmm. being destroyed. So by the time you take all this land out of production, that's gonna impact the timber industry, it's gonna impact agriculture, and of course all the other business depend on the people who revenue from people who work in those industries. Yeah, well, we got, to, I, I'm, I am definitely anti-Marvin Nichols Reservoir. <laughs> I, you know, I don't want to say I'm, I'm anti-reservoir. I'll say I'm anti-reservoir here. <laughs> I'm anti- Put it down in South Texas. I'm anti-unnecessary reservoir. Okay, that's and better. I, I wouldn't want to wish it on the people of South Texas either. Well, I'm just, you know, but there are well, other things. True. There are other things that the uh, utilities in Dallas Fort Worth can do. First of all, they can reuse. They can clean. That we now have the technology to clean up wastewater and put it back into our water systems. They're not doing as much conservation as they could do. They could get water from Lake Texoma and Lake Toledo Bend. Some of the folks around here go down to Toledo Bend yeah. fishing. That reservoir has five times as much water in it as will be in Marvin Nichols. And it's a little farther away. The pipeline would but be But when you're talking but about a pipeline, does that really matter? In terms of the impacts, it would be dramatically less. Yeah. There would be some, but not anything like flooding. So there are other options. It's just they're looking at what they think is the easiest, cheapest option for them maybe is to take I don't from... think it actually would wind up being the cheapest option, but it is kind of the 
old school, this the is quick how we go do to it. the way yeah. it's been done before kind right. of thing. And there are some people who make a lot of money off of building reservoirs. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, this is this project is going to cost 4.4 billion dollars, and that was 2018 dollars. And you know what's happening in the construction industry these days. So this is going to be, you know, much more than that. And by the time the debt service, the you know, interest is paid, it's going to be 10 billion dollars. Oh, that's crazy. You know, I, that's not a formal number. That's just a round. So the the meeting is tonight at yes. Silver Moon on Broad. Uh, hopefully, most folks know where the Silver Moon Theater is. It's down at on Broad 417 Street. West Broad. West Broad. And it's at 630. 630. If you've got questions or you've got some ideas even, get get with these folks this yeah. evening. I mean, right. will, there, will there be question and answers? There will be question and answer. Um, the other speakers are Jeff Rake, who's the resident mill manager at the um, graphic packaging mill in Domino and Jim Thompson who's with Ward Timber and he's also the chair of the regional water planning group for this region. Well very good we, we're gonna see you down at the meeting uh, this evening because we are getting to the point where something needs to be decided right I mean it's well because like you say this has been going on 20 years. It's been going on a long time but like five years ago the the people who want to build it kind of made an agreement that they wouldn't pursue it for five years. And the state water plan was saying, oh, we're not gonna, we don't need it till 2070. But when they revised, revised the state water plan recently, they moved it forward by 20 years. And that was a clear city. They've always said it would take 20 or 30 years to build. So, you know, I can add the numbers. They're, they're you know, it's you, time. You need to come to this meeting. Whichever side you stand on, you need to get more information on this topic. The Marvin Nichols Reservoir, Silver Moon Theater, tonight, 6.30. 6.30. We look forward to seeing you there.